There are two main ways to hold a knife, one point up and one point down. Now, in a knife fight, the prize is your life, not just avoiding some slit in your gown. So you've got to get it right. This is a fight, but which is the better way? Well, perhaps it would shed some light if we see what the treatises say. Now, they seem quite clear. Uh, they prefer by far the downward or ice pick grip. Uh, true, the other way they don't exactly bar, but they, they never show us that flip. Um, now, it's the, of the rondel that they seek to teach us. It's thin and stabby and long, but what sort of techniques have failed to reach us? Perhaps the choice of the rondel is wrong. Now, I learned my knife fighting with a knife like this. It's uh, shorter and fatter and sort of, sort of cutty. <laughs> An attacker with this is just taking the piss against me with this. He's surely putty. Now, I learned through reenactment and kung fu and not through late medieval sources. And I know that complacency will never do, so I took some HEMA courses. And I went along with well, an open, open mind and uh, took a wooden thing like this for safety's sake. And uh, I tried out their moves to see what I could find. And oh boy, the next day I didn't half ache. But anyway, I found that my first suspicion proved true. The ice pick grip limits your angles. Um, there really is just one thing you can do. And, you know, I, I'd like more options when my life dangles by a thread. I'm this close to death. I can feel my heart's heartbeat drumming. Um, you know, I, this could be my last pain-free breath. Yeah, with just one opening move. You'll see it coming. You know, now it's a good stab, I'll grant you. It, it's, it's hard and downward and, and deadly. Um, but one stab is many too few. Um, now, if you hold it this way, you've got a medley, yeah? Now, uh, try this. Um, hold it uh, ice pick on the outward side. Uh, you get to here and you're weak and in pain. A half decent force here applied and down you go. Unlikely to rise again. Um, it, it's, it's feeble and slow and so easy to block. An attack from here just spells doom. Um, I mean, look, 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 you've, you've near enough got me in, a, in an arm lock and you're not even in the same room. Um, now, the treatises do show some attacks that drop low and then come up like so. But <laughs> try that and I'll be relaxed. You know, uh, a big move like that is so slow. And if you offer your elbow like this to a foe, one push exposes your back and your head. So I know. <laughs> You're not going to land that blow. Before that, <laughs> forget it. You're dead. Um, so almost everything starts from here. And so after the block, then what next? Well, assuming you can overcome your fear, you could try what it says in the text. Uh, typically, you start by grabbing the blade. It's long, so it serves well as a lever. Its length acts as a disarming aid. And it's thin, so it's not much of a cleaver. Um, but it's often at least, at least a little bit sharp. So, <gasps> mightn't you cut your finger? Yeah, well, the alternative is you start playing the harp. So just grab it. This is no time to linger. Um, now, uh, I'll choose sh something shorter and sharper. And I'll grip it my way, and we'll see who's the harper. And uh, while you go in for some big twists, I'll slash you, it's quicker, and put a gash in your wrist. I'll cut through your tendons and under your arm and turn your limb into so much slack rope. I have faith in the speed I do harm. You dope to pin on ice pick grip your hope. So, there are other ways, as shown by the likes of Fairburn Sykes, to stab and slash in a hundred strikes. So, come our dagger duel, I'll hold it my way. You hold it yours, and we'll see who carries the day. Hmm. Having taken pause to reflect, maybe I wouldn't, because that's just what you'd expect. Lindy Bay!